attack! Successful! Let us start as always. <laughs> Behold, Madam Wilbur's great magic! Great victory for Madam Wilbur! Peace!
I'll keep calm and do my best. Confirm the weak point. We'll be destroyed. Let's just get this over with. Take that! Eh? Yeah. No difficulty executing my duty. Let us start as always.
gonna read the book Mr. Keith recommended to me. Due to recent research, many plants and animals that were considered to be mere legend have been rediscovered. This book will introduce you to the study of flowers that contain unknown properties. Legendary flowers? Maybe it'll have the flowers from the ruins. Alrighty then, I'm gonna read this whole book start to finish. Let's see, this is... Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Whew, I still have a long way to go. Oh, this is the glass flower that bloomed in the glass factory. Let's see. A plant that absorbs silicon from the ground and blossoms with a glass-like flower. It may be possible to utilize and apply this property to create a living building material. An experiment to construct a three-story building from the biogenic substance of this flower was a success. There are still more tasks to be done, but the synthesis of a living building material was successful. Whoa! Alchemy is amazing! I can do a little synthesis, but nothing like these people. It seems like I'm a little different from an alchemist after all. Reason Gang Spring Water. Hey, this book is talking about the area near my workshop. Maybe it'll have something about the flowers in the ruin. Let's see. Keep my eyes open. I should take a break and make some tea. This book didn't have any clues to lead me to Neo. Mr. Keith, what am I supposed to do now? Even if I asked him, he probably wouldn't tell me. It might be good to start by investigating the mysterious flowers that grow around here. The book has a flower that waits for rain, one that blooms every 100 years, and one that doesn't bloom in the sun. Of these three, the flower that waits for rain must be near my workshop. It even says it's near Reason Gang. I wonder where the other two are. The flower that blooms every 100 years is at the end of an endless plain. And the flower that doesn't bloom in the sun is along the shore of a big sea. Hmm, they don't seem very local. I guess I'll have to go to different places and gradually gather more information. Yep, there's no use just scratching my head. I can do this!